Hi guys, it's BattyMate here. Today I want to show you how to get rid of that keyboard that pops up every time you press this button right here on your Xbox controller. So as you can see, it's controlling Steam at the moment, going up and down and left and right. If you have a game open, and this keyboard keeps popping up no matter what you do. Every time you want to sprint or something, and you're using this analog stick right here, and it pops up. At the moment I have a game open. Um, some games, however, uh, like pushing the stick down it doesn't pop up but if you're running into the issue and you want to fix it and if it's pressing random buttons as well I've got a fix here and um, it's Steam turns out the majority of the problem is Steam however I will show you the oh, we're opening up another game um, I will show you in here when you click start uh, you want to type in on screen keyboard app so that's the app don't want to open up the app we want to see the settings and open up on screen keyboard settings <coughs> now in here you want to make sure it's turned off uh, if it's not off already um, under accessibility you can just change it to um, off now in Steam let me just get rid of the keyboard off the screen because this is annoying me. Oh, we can't even get the keyboard off the screen. Let me hold F4 out of the game. Let me get the keyboard off the screen. Oh, it's it's stuck on the screen now. Uh, maybe because we've got this other game open. Let me exit to desktop. Okay, so can we get rid of the keyboard? Okay, so we can get rid of the keyboard now. There's like a little X thing. I don't know why it's broken. Anyway, this keyboard is actually Steam's keyboard. It's pretty annoying to have. So what we want to do is go up to Steam, go to settings like this, and I'll do it slow. I'm going to blur out this screen because I don't need everyone knowing everything about me. We want to go down to uh, controller. Right, and here is the input stuff of the controller. What we want to do is scroll down on the right side, down here, and we'll get desktop layout and guide cord layout. What we want to do is go into edit on here. Uh, we can either disable Steam input, but I don't know exactly what that will do, or what you can do is edit layout and just change all these so they don't do anything. So change it to none. Go back. Uh, so controller key. We don't want this one to uh, do anything either. So we want to change this one to none. Or uh, remove command. So you hit the settings and you hit remove command. This one you want to hit remove command and remove command. D-pad is different. So what we want to do is the same thing in here, is we want to remove the command from the D-pad. Uh, hang on. So the directional pad, what we can do is remove command. We don't want to hit the top one. Just hit the down arrow, remove command, remove command, remove command. Triggers. Uh, we want to also remove commands of the triggers. So they're not pressing random buttons on the desktop while you're playing your game. This will work in any game as well. This will work for everything. Dark Souls, uh, Elden Ring, uh, Need for Speed, Shift, like Plasmophobia, Battlegrounds, Belheim, Lethal Company, Basically, any game that uses that you can use a controller on, uh, you just want to remove that. Uh, go to your settings. I know, so your top ones you can't do, but so like directional pad, what you want to do? Arrow up, arrow down, arrow left, arrow right. Remove, remove command. Okay, so we've done that. Now there are something you can click none in here and none here so it doesn't do anything I believe you can do none here and none here and none here and we've already done none there so basically now when I click 
that because Windows still Windows still controls the um, thing anyway. So you don't actually need Steam to control your joystick. So if we go back, back, make sure you do both of them. Pretty sure we've already done done this one. Oh no, we haven't done this one. So let's just edit out all these ones too. So we'll go back. Um, let's go none. Let's go back again. So back still working even though this is ABXY behavior. Uh, we want to go remove command, remove command. And this is the main one here that says show keyboard. One of the main ones that you want to remove command of and remove command and remove command. Now we've got to go down to D-pad in here as well and go none. Triggers, we want to go none. Hit that one, go none. Joysticks, go none, none. And now we can still use our joystick. We can still go back. So now that should all be saved. Uh, let's open up our game. Let's open up, I don't know, Liza P or something. Flight Simulator was a good one that um, was really annoying. So let's open that up without running as admin this time. So this will fix it up for everyone. All right, we'll just skip to when we're in the game. Now, I can click that button and that button. There's no keyboard showing up. We also have no sound, which might be a bit of an issue. No keyboard coming up. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you flying it in the in the thing. As you saw before, the game is finished updating now. Um, the button, I'm pressing it, and I'm pressing that. Now, before when I was trying to fly this, it would just look around the cabin and not actually move the wings the way it was supposed to do um, if I didn't launch it as admin. And this hasn't been launched as admin. And I just want to show you how it works when you've changed it all. So now I can move this mouse right around the whole screen, right, with the, with the joystick. So it's not flicking back into center like it was before. So now we're ready to fly. Now, I can look around and it's very smooth. It's a little bit laggy because it is flight simulator, um, but it is very smooth otherwise. We are on max settings. Now, it's been a while since I have flown an airplane. So, let's see here. Okay, remember, let's boost it all the way up. We'll turn on our afterburners. There we go, get your flaps. We're going to go through this aeroplane. I wonder if you can actually hit the aeroplane. Is it funny Oh, it just disappears. Very nice. Right, we're going to turn our flaps up so we can get off the ground. Okay, something's not quite right here. There we go. Alright, I'll pull back off the throttle. It is supposed to be real weather, and uh, it is uh, pretty cloudy around Brisbane today. There are some storms supposed to be happening. Alright, can we pull up? Alright. See if we can fly underneath the bridge or something. There's a nice big ship unloading its stuff. There's the gateway bridge. Hey guys, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a good old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.